When it comes to medical treatments, we've come a long way from the days of leeches and bloodletting. Some doctors even use maggots to clean wounds which can be more effective than conventional treatments in certain cases. And this is just one of the many weird and fascinating facts about the world of medicine. So, let's take a deep dive into more of the unusual things, if not outright weird, that doctors have done keep us healthy and well. Hypnosis to treat pain. Imagine being able to control your pain with nothing but the power of your mind. It may sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but the truth is that doctors have been using hypnosis to treat pain for years. Hypnosis taps into a hidden power that we all possess, a power that can be harnessed to reduce or even eliminate pain. When you enter a state of hypnosis, it's like activating a secret program within your own mind. Just like clicking on an icon on a computer, you can access this hidden power by concentrating and allowing your imagination to take you to a hypnotic state. Once you're there, your brain becomes highly receptive to suggestions and images that can control your pain which can then help patients reduce or eliminate pain. Fecal Microbiota Transplantation Fecal microbiota transplantation, also known as a stool transplant, is a technique where healthy stool from a donor is given to someone with a disease caused by their gut microbiome being unbalanced. This is thought to work by introducing new, healthy bacteria into the person's gut, restoring the normal gut function. It has been especially useful in treating Clostridium difficile infection and has been suggested as a possible treatment option for other things like inflammatory bowel disease, autoimmune disorders, allergies, and obesity. Randomized clinical trials have suggested that it has a success rate of around 92%, and guidelines for CDI now recommend it as a second-line treatment. Salt Therapy Also known as halotherapy, salt therapy is an incredible way to treat respiratory conditions like asthma, allergies, and more. During this treatment, tiny particles of salt are breathed into the lungs. These salt particles are negatively charged and interact with the positive ions causing inflammation in the respiratory system. This helps to reduce inflammation and clear mucus, toxins, and other stuff from the lungs. It also encourages deeper breaths, better oxygen flow, and improved circulation. Studies have shown that salt therapy works and can be a great alternative or addition to other treatments. If you struggle with respiratory problems, salt therapy may be worth exploring. Reiki Reiki, an alternative form of energy healing, is a mystical and intriguing practice that has garnered a lot of attention in recent years. Despite sounding like it borders on the realm of the supernatural or pseudoscience, several studies have been conducted to explore the effects of Reiki on patients' physical and psychological well-being. One such study recruited 99 Reiki practitioners resulting in 1411 Reiki sessions. Astonishingly, after just one session, people experienced significant improvements in a range of factors, including energy, mood, pain, and overall well-being. However, Opponents of the therapy argue that positive effects on patients may be due to placebo effects or the therapeutic relationship between the practitioner and the patient, rather than any specific energy healing properties of Reiki. Nevertheless, many people have reported positive experiences and consider it a helpful complementary therapy to conventional medical treatments. As such, more research is needed to fully explore the potential of Reiki and its impact on health and healing. Cupping Therapy Cupping therapy is a mystifying ancient practice that continues to mystify modern medicine. It's an enigmatic healing method that's been around for centuries, yet doctors still can't fully comprehend how it works. Researchers have pored over numerous medical studies in a quest to unravel the secrets of cupping therapy, and they've come up with six different ideas about how it might function. Theories range from its ability to reduce pain to its potential for increasing blood circulation. However, despite these ideas, none can fully explain how cupping therapy works, and more research is needed to unlock its full potential. Some suggest that its effectiveness may be linked to its hematological and immunological effects, while others point to its ability to eliminate toxins from the skin and reduce muscle activity. It's a therapeutic practice that seems to teeter on the edge of the supernatural, and yet its potential benefits are too intriguing to ignore. Electroconvulsive Therapy ECT. The idea of electricity coursing through the brain, triggering a seizure, is enough to make your skin crawl. But did you know that this spine-tingling scene is actually an approved and effective treatment for certain mental health disorders? ECT involves a deliberately enacted seizure in the brain caused by passing an electric current across it, thereby resetting the brain's chemistry to boost the patient's disposition. While this has been around for a long time, 
Recent exploration has established that the impacts of ECT are immensely rich and sophisticated, from altering the performance of genes to adjusting the paths taken by chemicals in the brain, guaranteeing long-term results to assist the person in managing their illness. Previously, there was suspicion about ECT, which caused people to be hesitant in depending on it as a remedy, yet now the medical society is acknowledging it as a secure and reliable alternative for stress depression, bipolar syndrome, and other psychological conditions. Generally, it is used while the patient is anesthetized with muscle relaxants to provide comfort and security, 